Hey, what's going on? It's Swifters, it's Chimney Stuff here, and welcome to this very special video for Elder Scrolls Online. And today we're gonna to be talking about the justice system in update 1.6, which just came out today. So honestly, I'm gonna try and do my absolute best to keep it together during this video. I'm extremely, extremely excited. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Uh, update 6 just came out today, obviously, and um, this is the biggest patch thus far in uh, ESO. So basically, I know, I mean, I sort of just am equating this to essentially like ESO 2.0 more or less because there's just so much stuff. Now, before we begin today, I wanna just let you guys know that I have not touched anything yet within the champion system. So my stats are probably gonna be just kinda like meh right now. I haven't done anything with this yet. Um, this is a brand new addition to update 1.6, um, but we'll discuss that in the, probably a later video. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the justice system. <laughs> As you can see, all these other players sneaking around um, and show you guys sort of how it works, what to do um, if you're new to the game or you are interested in maybe picking up the Terminal Unlimited version when the game goes by to play on March 17th, then uh, make sure you pay attention during this video and I'll try and give you guys a couple of tricks. So the first tip and the first little trick I want to give you guys is a special armor set that's out there called the Nightshade set. I'm gonna be running this today and using this in this video. Um, I think these are gonna become very, very items that are in very high demand. So if you can get your hands on some, uh, make sure you do this. We're gonna be running the three piece. And as you can see here, the three item set of this is going to decrease the detection radius by two meters and it's going to reduce our sneak cost by 23%. So I'm gonna be using both daggers and I also have a necklace. Um, so what I wanna do first off today before we get this video started is I actually want to improve these daggers. So uh, let's go ahead and improve these. Let's throw these in here. And as we improve these, you'll see the, the um, sneak cost reduction is going to go up a little bit. So this is at when it's green level, it's going to be at 23% sneak cost on that three item set. And then blue level, we're going to get to get it up to 24. So let's go ahead and improve this. Um, you can't improve the necklace. Um, you can only improve the daggers or pieces of armor if you're going to wear pieces of armor. But um, I want to use the d two daggers and a neck. So uh, this is my <laughs> this is my first tip for you guys today. So I'm actually going to bring these up to purple. I've got enough materials to do this, um, and we should get a reduced cost for sneaking, an additional one, up to let's see, twenty. Okay, so it's still going to be twenty four. Actually, you know what? If this is going to be twenty four, I think I think yellow. I think if it was legendary. It would be up to, I think it goes up to 25, but I guess it looks like blue and purple are, are the exact same. The only thing that's going to change is like the maximum stamina. So you know what? I'm not even going to worry about this. I'm really just concerned about the reduced sneak cost so we can continue to sneak around. So we've got both those daggers up to blue level, which is going to be really, really handy. Let me switch over to my dual wield bar. I'm going to take these two swords off. Let's go ahead and put these on. So, so we'll swap the, these out right there. And as you can see, I'm holding these two daggers. And also, let me grab this necklace, and we're gonna put the necklace on as well. So now we have the, um, we've completed the three set. Um, actually, you know what? Because these average out between green and blue, I think actually if I do improve them to purple, let me put these in my inventory. Um, if I do improve them to purple, it will make the overall set bonus 25%. So let's actually go ahead and improve these. Um, so it still says 24 here but that may change. I don't know, I've got a lot of mats, so I really don't care. Let's just go ahead and make them purple, why not? <laughs> and we'll go ahead and improve the other one as well. All right, so let's take a look now. Let's see what this is going to give us. Um, put that in there, put that in there, and it's still registering 24, so oh well. Um, all right, so what this is gonna allow us to do is it's going to allow us to hopefully sneak for longer and we're gonna get a little bit extra stamina too. So this is actually gonna make it really, really nice because sneaking is a big part of the justice system, as you can tell. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. So I'm wearing a full set of medium armor as well. So we've got medium armor on right here. So a full set of medium armor with improved sneaking. It's gonna reduce the cost of sneaking by 7% per piece of medium armor equipped. Current bonus is 49. So we got 49% reduced cost of sneaking plus another 24%. And it also reduces the size of your detection area by 5% per piece of medium armor equipped. Current bonus is 35. Also, with this Nightshade set, 
we're going to be getting a decreased detection radius by another additional two meters. So this is going to help out loads. All right. So the first thing you guys need to know with the just system, how do you get started, right? Because there is a brand new skill line called Ledger Main. This is basically your justice system skill line. There's passives here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put the first passive or first point into the first passive here. Improved hiding, which is going to reduce the stamina cost of sneaking by 10%. So we're cutting down on the stamina cost of sneaking even more. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And this can be upgraded, of course. This says it'll next upgrade is going to be at rank six. So we got to get this thing ranked up. To do this, you um, fence goods and pickpocketing or picking locks is all going to increase your ledger main skill line. Um, there's a whole bunch of passives here. Um, you can look at these sort of just as I scroll down them. Pause it. Pause the video if you'd like. But in order to unlock the skill line, you need to attempt to pickpocket somebody first. Now, I'm in the city of Riften, and uh, I'm here for a special region, reason. I'll show you guys that in a minute. I did think about doing it in the um, starting city of Davin's Watch, but I decided I wanted to do this video for you guys in Riften. One thing you need to know, these guards, you'll see guards like these, and you see the color of the health bar up there with the like um, sort of really, really super light brown color there. Uh, that means that they are invincible. You can steal from them, and I may try to do that at some point today. Probably not. My legend main skill line is not high enough. But um, be very, very careful around these guards. You won't be able to kill them, and they will destroy you. Absolutely destroy you. So the first thing you need to do to unlock the legend main skill line, I'm going to put these weapons away, is you want to find someone like an NPC like this that's got sort of like this white border around them, right? Now I'm a vampire, it's going to prompt me to feed, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, what I want to do is sneak up behind him, and when it says 75% chance, find someone that says easy. See how it says pickpocket easy? When this bumps over to 75% chance, I'm going to go ahead and steal from this person. Now there's another person here, it says I'm detected, let's go ahead and move away. Uh, I probably should have done it when it was there the first time, but I'm just still sort of explaining stuff. Um, so find someone that says easy, um, to start out at least, to, to sort of start out, right? Let me see here. We're detected, right, because they're both facing each other. So we got to be patient. A lot about this is being patient. Um, I'm actually going to go check out this guy down here fishing. Let's see what his level is. Doesn't look like there's any... Oh, there is somebody around. Hold on. Oh, he's medium. And... Okay. This guy's medium. I don't want to do that. We're going to go find someone that's easy. <laughs> so you got to be patient. You definitely have to be patient. Um, I did search the city earlier and really couldn't find a whole lot of people in this town that were that were listed as easy, except for this guy. Okay, cool. So, um, this guy is now alone. Pickpocketing chance, there we go, we got him. So, wait till it bumps up to 75%, and you'll see we just got a new item. Oh, and it was green as well, perfect. So we now have a jar of live centipedes. Now, this has a little item next to it. See how it says red there? This is stolen item. You cannot sell this to just a normal merchant. You cannot go up to like, this like a lady here the blacksmith or something or this guy right here and sell this item what you need to do is um essentially run through the world but this is what the justice system is currently you run through the world and you sneak around and you steal from stuff like this sack right here we can steal from this see what's in here we got mint all right so this is an ingredient for crafting beverages occasionally you'll find items that are worth um worth a bit of money but i'm just going to show you guys kind of what to do with a stolen item if you have one. So I've got a couple stolen items in my inventory that I grabbed earlier and actually they're all green which is really really nice. So when you have some stolen items you need to be very very careful. Do not attack NPCs. Um, you can attack and kill NPCs um, that have the white outline around them. I'll show you guys that a little bit later in the video. Um, but be wary of the guards. If you get caught by a guard you're gonna have to forfeit all of your stolen goods or you can try and escape but there's a really really good chance that they're gonna kill you. So, here's what you need to do if you want to hold on to your stolen items and make some money. You need to find this little logo in the cities that you're in. It's the Outlaw Refugee, and that's why I picked this town, because I want to show you guys what this looks like. So, if you played Skyrim, you might get a little bit excited, because we're going into what is essentially the same thing as the Thieves Guild, um, in, uh, or I think it was called the Ragged Flagon in, uh, in Skyrim. And it looks just like it. It's really freaking cool, and I want to show this to you guys, because it's really exciting. So, um, once you're inside these outlaw refugees, you can't be attacked by guards. This is sort of a safe haven for um, thieves and stuff like that. Uh, and this one in particular, you just kind of wind your way through here. And as you can see, we are now inside the outlaw's refugee. So this place looks really freaking cool. 
Uh, if you guys remember from Skyrim, it had these like sort of these bridges and stuff. Um, really, really awesome that they made this look very, very similar to like how it was in Skyrim and stuff. So in all of these outlaw refugees, there's going to be a guild trader. Um, so you can uh, do some guild trading here if you want. Um, there's also going to be a fence, and these are extremely important. Um, these guys are like they fence your stolen items, or they can launder your stolen items and basically um, allow you to keep them. And then there's also a money lender, and the money lender is essentially uh, just a bank. It's access to your bank, so um, that's down here as well. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There's a normal merchant for selling stuff, buying things, and what else do we have? It looks like that's looks like that's it. So let me go over here to the uh, the fence. I'm going to show you guys what to do with your stolen items. If you have a bounty, you can pay your bounty at the fence. Um, I currently don't have a bounty, but if I did, it would say, you know, you were able to pay your bounty. Um, you give him like a certain amount of gold and it's going to clear your name and put you back in good standing. So, um, fence. So we've got some stolen items here. I can launder these items for the same cost that they give me. If I want to like, maybe if something's valuable and you want to like sell this in a guild store to someone or something like that, the game is still like the updates brand new. So I honestly still don't know a hundred percent. Um, you know what the use of laundering items is versus selling them but if I want to make 300 gold real quick let's just sell these three things like that and boom we made 300 gold now you can sell up to 50 items a day to the fence and um, yeah you can pretty much just steal from everything so I'm gonna go up top back up to the main part of the city and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna actually show you guys what it's like to get a bounty um, and I'm gonna attack an NPC and try and kill an NPC um, while we're at it so this part is gonna be a little bit more fun than the intro there as I was just sort of, you know, just explaining stuff. But um, yeah, like if you're somebody like myself who really, really enjoys playing ESO solo and doing sort of like your own thing from time to time, I know I do personally. Uh, I definitely enjoy running with groups and doing trials and, and um, really high end PVE content. But there are a lot of times where I love to just do things all by myself. So um, let me go ahead and put back my normal, like my normal weapons. Let's do this. And we'll go ahead and put on my other thing right here. There we go. All right, so we've got we lost that bonus from the nightshade set. I'm just going to do this for damage, right? So we want to do some damage to some poor little NPC like this guy right here. How about uh, what is his name? Thravol Barrowthin. He's got 11,000 health. All right. So now I'm trying to kill this guy, and he's dead. Okay. So it came up and said I'm a fugitive from justice. I just got an achievement unlocked called Murderer. So as you can see, you get achievements for different things now as well. Kill a citizen of Tamriel. All right, so in the bottom right hand of my screen, you can actually see my like um, reputation, I think. And you're now notorious. Um, so I will no longer be attacked by the law. So over time, it actually goes down. Um, but let me go and kill somebody else. Oh, we did a big damage on that person because we <laughs> hit him from stealth. All right, so now I have a bounty of like 537 gold. So what I'm gonna do is, let me actually try and steal from this guy. Oh, he's got 20% chance, that's bad. That's probably too hard. Um, if I get close to a guard though, we're gonna be in big, big, big trouble. Let me see, who can I, <clears throat> who can I steal from right here? I wanna get a stolen item too and show you guys what it's like to lose something that you, you maybe worked for. Make the jump, oh dang it. I fell off, can we get up? No, apparently not. How do I get over there? Let me see here. Let me sprint this time. It'll make, there we go. All right, so let's try this guy. Let me try, wait till he gets 50%. Because the mediums, that's the highest they are right now since I don't have anything upgraded. Oh, I was caught and... Is he mad? Is he gonna kill me? I don't know, I'm gonna kill him though. <laughs> All right, so these are lower level mobs. I'm able to kill them pretty quick. But as you can see, my bounty is pretty high right now, 896. So let's just say I'm running through the city, I'm not paying attention, and suddenly a guard decides to attack me. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what's gonna happen. So let's see, let's let's walk past this guard up here. I've got a bounty, he knows it, he's gonna try and kill me. And actually because I don't have any stolen items and I've actually murdered somebody, he's gonna come after me. Now you can run away from these guards, um, they have skills and stuff that make it a bit difficult. I might be able to wait, be able to get away from this guy because 
Oh, maybe not. Now I'm out of stamina. Great. And my health is low. I'm gonna heal myself a little bit. And of course I ran out of the city, now I've got three guards following me. So let's just go ahead and die. I'm gonna show you guys what happens. So, bounty cleared. Our equipped items have lost durability. And um, they just punished me bad. Now, if I had stolen items in my inventory, they probably were gonna come up to me and say, hey, do you wanna pay your fine? Or would you like to run, right? Like that's the, the traditional Elder Scrolls way. If you run, good luck. Good luck surviving, get out of the city. In order to clear your name, like I said, you gotta get to that fence. You gotta get to that, um, the guy downstairs in the Outlaws Refugee. Pay him and he'll clear your name for you. Of course, um, you can uh, continue to try and like live in the city with a high bounty, but it's gonna be very, very hard to do. So um, other things you can do with the justice system is you can, I think I showed you guys this. You can come up to here and pick like, or um, steal from these barrels and stuff. And you can do this everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, let me try and also find, there are there are also things here, let me put my, uh, let me put my gear on. There are other things called safe boxes. And these I think net really, or they can net really good items. Um, I haven't actually unlocked one yet, but let me see if we can find one. I think sometimes they're in people's houses or by stores and stuff like that. Yeah, there's one right here actually. So here's a safe box. Looks like people are actually using that guy just opened it. Um, so safe boxes are going to be a lot harder to crack, but they may net better items, right? So you can find like white, green, blue, and purple items from um, from looting different crates and containers and things like that. Um, and I would imagine that due to the di increased difficulty of like the um, uh, the safe boxes, that you might actually probably get better items from there. Uh, let me see if there's one just sitting in the fighter's guild in here. If not, we'll go ahead and end the video. I've got a lot more in this game to mess around with right now. Everything feels brand new. Um, even like stats and stuff, I still don't know 100% yet like what, you know, what's good stats, what's good, num good numbers and stuff. Here we go, hold on, this looked like something we could sell. Yeah, so this is a, just a comb, right? Like we could sell this, it's a stolen item. Um. So yeah, I've got a lot more to mess around with in this game. There's gonna be a lot of things to explore. This is just sort of like a brief basic overview, just sort of showing you guys one of the new major systems within this game. There's a recipe here, but I already know that. Uh, the desk is empty. But it's, this is gonna be a lot of fun, honestly. I'm really, really excited to just sort of walk around different parts of Tamriel, steal stuff, steal from different people, um, try and locate these safe boxes. Let's see if there's anything in this nightstand. A doll for 30 gold wardrobe. Okay, so we found a shaving kit, which is um, green level. So that's going to be 100. We can sell that and not, you know, get in trouble with the law and stuff like that. That'll be a lot of fun. Let me see what else we can find. I think some people were telling me earlier that like the safe boxes can be found in people's houses and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm just like, this is so much fun. And I'm such a noob right now. We're everyone that's been playing this game since, since the uh, since launch. We're all like noobs again because we have no idea what anything is, right? Like I don't even know of all the stuff that I'm trying to steal. Like I don't know what's what's good and what's not. Lockpick. Oh yeah, you gotta like um, you can't just loot lockpicks anymore. You gotta like um, you gotta launder them so that it's not stolen contraband. Let me see if I can find a house really fast. Um, there aren't a whole lot of houses here. Let me see. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I think, I think there are some houses in another village here in the rift. Let me go check that out. So we got the mages guild in there. But let me let me move over to like another part of this area. Let's go up here to uh, Garmin's Hall. Yeah, let's just go to um, uh, Nimalton and see if there's anything in here. I would really like to find one of those boxes for you guys and try and open them. I know, I think opening chests and stuff, just general chests as well, are gonna be, um, are gonna give you uh, points to your ledger main skill line. So I'm having, I'm gonna have a lot of fun like leveling up a new skill line as well. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. All right, so here's someone's house, better Ness. Let's see, um, let's see if he's got anything hiding away in here that I might want to steal. 
Is there also like a, um, no, there's no refugee here. I wonder if there's one there? No, probably not. Probably the only refugee is here in, in Riften. All right, let's just check out this dude's house really quick. Trunk, what's this? Examine, other than clothes. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, you know what, this is probably part of the quest, part of a quest. That's probably why. Um, probably a quest house. Let's see. Cause some houses are locked and you actually have to break into them. So let me see if this one, I'm in hall. Hmm. Guild hall. Well, this is a fail, but uh, you guys get the idea. I don't want to spend too much time like going over this stuff because I would probably be covering this again in like a later episode. Um, there's an inn right here. Let's check out the inn and see if um, there's anything valuable sitting in the inn. Of course, we don't need to sneak right now unless we're going to steal anything so we can let our stamina regenerate. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. All right. Safe box right here. Perfect. So before you loot anything, make sure that you're hidden. If you're detected, you're going to have issues. This looks like just a normal lock pick. Let's go ahead and pick this. And it still says hidden on the bottom there, which is really, really good. Oh man, there we go. Got some XP. Ooh, hey, my first blue items. Awesome. All right, so discriminating plunder. We got some new stuff. We got a new achievement. So these are actually worth 250. So like in another achievement, awesome. So like this type of stuff right here is something you're going to definitely want to be. Oh, look, it's a guard right here. You got to be very, very careful. So this, this is the kind of thing where like when you've been going around the world for a long time and you have a whole bunch of loot that's really, really valuable to you, do not get caught. If you get caught, a good chance you're gonna lose it all so high risk high reward it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of fun i'm really glad i found a safe box make sure you guys try and locate this nightshade set it's gonna be really really popular i think it's gonna be really really useful for um for people that really want to get into the justice system but that is my first video in eso 1.6 i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you'd like to see some more um, be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and leave me a comment as well letting me know what you thought. And yeah, I'll see you guys in Tamriel. Peace! Oh, they got the flag! Oh, I mean, we I did? didn't kill this guy. They did. Where are you? They, where got, are you? they got the flag. Oh, I think you're gonna have this big battle? Oh, crap, dude. I did the dumbest thing. What'd you do? I used the teleporter thing, and I was chasing a guy. It teleported me back. Oh. So I'm not chasing.